You're watching the Nokia G20 disassembly. If you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Next, you need to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then you need to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's the plastic back plate. There are 16 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once all the screws are removed, we need to remove this cover over here for the camera lens cover. The NFC antenna is located around this plastic cover over here. The glass camera lens cover over here can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying it off. Here's a look at the other side. These are the two contact points on the flex cable for the NFC antenna. Now once that cover is removed, we can see another Phillips screw over here in the center of the cameras which needs to be removed. Now we need to place a plastic pry tool in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run it along the edges and pop off the catches. The back housing itself is plastic as well. On the inside you can see antenna flex cables here, here and over here, as well as the flex cable over here for the fingerprint reader. These contacts over here on the flex cable for the fingerprint reader make a connection with the contacts over here on the main board. And here's the LED flash board. Before we can proceed we need to disconnect the battery cable. Once the battery cable is disconnected we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. There's a wire cable over here in the corner or coaxial cable which needs to be disconnected by popping it off. Now we can disconnect the front facing camera. At this point we can lift up and remove the main board. The four cameras are located over here in the center. The connectors for the cameras can be disconnected by just popping them off. The headphone jack is located over here, covered by a rubber gasket. And there's copper tape over here, covering the connector for this camera and a portion of this shield. On the back side of the board, we can see the SIM reader and memory card reader located over here. The other camera connector is over here, and there's a secondary microphone over here on the top corner. The proximity sensor is located over here on the top. Once the shield on the back is removed, we can see thermal paste over here on top of the processor. In order to remove the battery, there are provided pull tabs over here, which can help us pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the battery. Once the battery is removed, we can see this flex cable over here, which is routed to this opening in the midframe, which connects the main board to the screen, as well as the main board to the charger port and subboard on bottom. In order to remove the cover on the bottom, there's one more Phillips screw now located over here, which needs to be removed. Once that screw is removed, we can lift up and remove the plastic cover. The speaker is housed underneath this plastic cover. Now we can disconnect this flex cable over here which connects to the subboard. And then we can disconnect this coaxial cable by popping it off. Now the subboard can be removed. On the subboard we can see a rubber gasket around the charger port and there's a liquid damage indicator which is this white sticker over here. On the other side we can see the primary microphone located over here. So when it comes to replacing the screen you would have to remove the back cover as well as remove the screws then remove the back housing and then you disconnect the battery cable and this flex cable over here which connects the main board to the subboard and the screen. You'd remove the battery as well as remove this adhesive tape over here for the battery and then you'd have to remove the speaker assembly on bottom as well as the subboard. Then you'd have to heat up the front of the phone where the screen is so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen. You pry your old screen off, get your new screen, apply new adhesive, making sure you run the flex cable through the openings over here in the midframe and then you have to reassemble your phone. The vibrator motor is located over here and it's held down with adhesive. This flex cable over here is for the volume keys and power button. The earpiece speaker is located over here on top and that's held down with adhesive as well. So if you wanted to pry that off, just apply some heat and gently pry it off. 
and the flex cable for the button over here on this side is located over here. As far as repairability goes on this phone, I'd have to give it a 5 out of 10. The adhesive on the back cover is really strong, so it's pretty difficult to pry that off, as well as the fact that you have to remove pretty much everything in order to gain access to the screen cables, so a screen replacement would be difficult. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all the screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your backplate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.